Hey, I'm Steph, I'm from Mel365. Now I'm in one of the most photogenic countries in the world, Vietnam. And this video is about a guide on travel photography in Vietnam. Every time we say goodbye, they all see that it's a lie. Cause we always give it one last try. Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times. I just arrived yesterday night and uh, I'm starting straight away with a fantastic photography trip with Etienne of Sahel. I would like to talk with you about the photography here in Vietnam a little bit, but more focus on the uh, Hoi An and the fish villages. Yeah, so this is my favorite fishing village in central Vietnam. It's, I love it because it's really, really busy. There are a lot of people, as you can see, so many things happening. We have lots of layers of things happening. Because we're facing east, facing sunrise and ocean, we have a clear view on all the boats coming. And it's a really fun place to play the, the game of layering, trying to have as many information, as many layers as possible into our frame, so we can tell better stories. Can't be waiting for you in the morning. I'm gonna leave without giving a warning. I'm gonna leave without giving a... But every time we say goodbye We all know that it's a lie Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't I don't wanna go Turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be In the boatyard, you may remember we were at the beach, fantastic, it lasted about two hours. It was time to move to a new place. Now, the sun is very strong, it's almost up in the sky and uh, the shadows are very strong. Many people say, Let's go back, there is no more opportunities, but in a place like this one, you just expose for the highlights and then you use it for the subframing. Uh, great suggestion for my turn in action and we got these results. Can't be waiting for you in the morning I'm gonna leave without giving a warning I'm gonna leave without giving a, giving a But every time we say goodbye we... Markets are always a great opportunity for travel photography and Vietnam is absolutely amazing for that. Now today I'm here in uh, Hoi Han Market. My biggest tip for markets is always to go as early as possible. That's when you get the local action, more of the local people and you'll be less likely to find tourists around, which probably spoil a little bit the photo. Big tip of the day to expose on the highlights. Highlights are the very bright part of the photos. Um, you have two ways. One which is less convenient is to use exposure compensation. Now on my Sony, I have it here on this dial lamp. On your camera you may have it with a combination of a button and then you have to change the back dial lamp. It's quite complicated, it's not quick. The other one is to use one of the buttons, custom buttons where you can set it as um, exposure lock. In my case, I have one button which is uh, already dedicated to it. It's exposure lock. What I do, I expose. What do I expose it? I expose it just to the sky. Not where the sun is, but on the other side where there is no sun. That will give you around two stops locked with the exposure. And let's see how the results I've got this morning. Are saying move on I know I don't belong In this fantasy world I put you in me 
great photography at the market. We spent about three hours and now it's time for coffee. Now I said uh, we spent because I was there at the market with uh, Marco. Here it is. Hello. Now uh, I would like to ask Marco what did you like the most about the market and also what kind of technique did you apply in the market? So we actually woke up quite early this morning and came to this market so we could find only locals. So I think the positive thing was that probably we were the only Westerners or tourists around. Um, and I actually have experimented with three different techniques. One is the highlight technique that Stefano already introduced to you and that was particularly interesting when there was a woman with her typical Vietnamese hat and you know smoking a cigarette so I could um, make sure that those two elements came out of the photo very vibrantly. The second technique that I like to experiment with is I put the uh, speed very uh, slow so that uh, you know the ladies chopping the meat in the market could come like kind of like a trail movement. It was very um, nice to see on the photo. And the last one was actually using the reflection of the water that the uh, ladies used in the market to you know keep the fish alive, let's say. Um, so there was quite a lot of water on the ground and uh, you know, I put um, the aperture uh, low so that we could see a silhouette. Uh, so again, with the typical hat, uh, uh, people moving uh, uh, and making reflections, it was very interesting. So very positive experience. Here I am, another early morning, it's uh, in Hoi An and I'm uh, just walking in the street and uh, try to use a couple of composition elements to frame my photo. So the first one is to use these nice shadows and um, use them as a sub-framing. Try to darken up as much as possible the shadows and put all of the emphasis on the subject in the light. Now. The next one is to try to find a nice background. This could be one of the many houses along this street. Wait there until the right subject comes through. Through your skin you can see it be Intoxicating your energy First time in so long you felt the heat I have also USB ports and USB converters. Um, nowadays, most of my gear is uh, charged from the USB, and just with a normal power strip, I can charge everything. Easy going, very effective, and getting ready for Hanoi. I know the sadness that we are here in Hanoi. Now, Long Bien Bridge is a place to go if you are after some good travel photography or street photography because it is a fantastic bridge with a vanishing point, very old style. I'm at the moment screaming just because there's a lot of noise here. So get used to the noise in Hanoi, it's a lot of that. But look at the place now, we go for photography. to give you a tip for this photo I keep screaming because it's super noisy here try to use a focal lamp like 100 120 millimeter and the reason is that you compress perspective 
and everything looks closer and you get a nice point of view. If you use a wide angle, the view is going to be too wide and you will lose all of the details and the vanishing point. Following this video, I'll show you the two photos, one with a wide angle and one with a 105 millimeter. I have followed a little bit of the train rails uh, on an elevator platform next to a train station. Now the good thing here is this beautiful tree and the red buckets on the contrast. You can do two types of photos. One is to do a photo and try to use the greenery here to frame and freeze the action. But I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying to do panning of these people walking and hopefully I get one through the foliage that creates a little bit of a subframing. There is a lady with a typical Vietnamese hat coming. Now, I set in continuous mode, so we do more than one photo, just to be sure. That's it. Okay, she's coming. I'm here in Hanoi at the Temple of Literature. Now, it's very difficult, of course, in these places to have photos with our people. And we can't do that much. Um, you can do it in Photoshop, but it's a lot of work, it's not worth it. So I wouldn't suggest. My personal tip is obviously to just enjoy the place. We are at the end of the day traveling through the country and looking for something. Maybe what you can do, I did it in a few cases, is to go into the site, the famous site, in the last hour. In this case, because of 5.30, so if you go there 4.30, but 5.30, they ask everyone to go out. You try to hide a little bit in order to be the last one, and you get the place for yourself. You need just to be quick to take the photos, and you won't have any person. When you walk in Hanoi or in any other town or city of Vietnam, you're probably going to cross a few of these little alleys off the main street. These are fantastic spots for street photography. You just need to wait for the right person to cross or to go through this little alley. And you see here on my back there is a bit of a natural light right in the center and probably it's a good time to just wait and see if there is anyone that goes through that little corner. So it would be straight in the light. This is also a good spot for night photography because there is artificial light just in a few spots and you can concentrate on that and set your camera to expose for bad light. There is only one drawback, especially at night. There are some mice around. <laughs> this city is just amazing. I don't know how many mice I've seen. And when I say mice, it's actually an understatement. They are rats the size of, a, of a, sometimes of cats. So wear shoes, proper shoes, don't do like me, but I'm wearing today uh, some flip-flops. And enjoy your street photography. Travel photography is obviously also landscape photography and what a better landscape than north of Vietnam. So we took the bus uh, to Ha Giang and from Ha Giang I rented a motorbike to go on a four days trip. So we started here in Ha Giang, Quang Ba and we go all over the valley close to the China borders. I'm sure it would be incredible. Look what we have already in front of us.
One of the benefits of having your own motorbike is that you can actually stop wherever you want. And in this case, we are stopping here on the side of the street with a beautiful lady preparing for us a nice juice. I'm not sure if it's a sugar or tapioca, but I'm sure that it would be beautiful. And this is also another great opportunity for some uh, travel photography of the locals preparing food. Another day, and we are in an amazing valley on our trip with the motorbike from Ha Jiang. Now, this is a famous pass, 1500 meter. There's a lot of haze this morning. My suggestion underexpose a tiny bit, maybe 07 one stop. Now, another suggestion I can give you is to try to shoot with the landscape which is facing the sun. Now, I have the sun there and the best colors you can get it there right in front as you see when we move towards the sun you will see more and more haze now look at these beautiful scenarios by the way this is one of the best if not the best ever landscape i've ever seen in my life Cigarette ash. it looks like snow So we are over the Mai Pi Lang Pass, uh, which is probably only 10 20 kilometers from China. You can see China on the background, uh, but we are still in Vietnam. Another subject for great photography is uh, if you look down, these amazing roads that are winding through the mountain. So we're gonna try to do some photos here from the top. The view is just spectacular. And you're having fun. Why don't you show your friends? And this is it about this video on travel photography in Vietnam. I need to add the disclosure here, which uh, this video covers only the center and the north of Vietnam. Uh, I am organizing another video about the south of Vietnam. Uh, you, I've organized also a playlist of uh, all of the videos uh, uh, about Vietnam that probably you can find here in the corner but I highly suggest to subscribe to my channel if you tick the little bell you can have a notification of when all of these videos are coming out and uh, you can also read on my website the stories about Vietnam that I brought there and also you can see my photos some of them were posted in these videos but I have so many others as you can imagine Thank you so much for watching this video and I hopefully see you in the next one.